Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is how to solve a square root in less than 15 seconds. So, in order to solve a square root, first thing you should know is the squares of the number from 1 to 9. So, we know that the squares of 1 is 1, 2 is 4, 3 is 9, 4 is 16, 5 is 25, 6 is 36, 7 is 49, 8 is 64, 9 is 81. What is another thing that you should know? Right, take in another column, write the last digit of everything. So once you write the last digit, just keep it safely. So once we solve the sum, we will know how we are going to use this table in our sum. So let's just get started. So the first sum they have given is, find the square root of 4624. So how are we going to do it? What is the last number of the question? They have asked 4. So see the 4, where it falls in the last digit here. So it falls here as well as here. So what do we do here is that, just put 2 dashes, write the 2 or it can be 8. It can be either 2 or 8. As of now, just write it like this. Next, you are going to ignore the last two numbers. Just think that it's not there. Now, we are going to take the 46. So, let's see where 46 falls between these numbers. It falls between 36 and 49. So, here you have to take the lowest number of 36 and 49, which is nothing but 6. So, we take 6 here and write it here. So, before, after taking this 6 value, what we are going to do with that, multiply it with the next number of 6. So, 6 next number is nothing but 7, which is nothing but 42. So, the number here is 42. The question that they have given is 46. So, 46 is greater than 42. So, what do you do? You take the greater number out of 2 and 8, which is nothing but 8. So, the square of the number is nothing but 68. So, how did we do it? Let's have a recap. So, they have given the question, you take the last digit of it, go here and find where does that match. So, 4 is in 2 and 8. So, we write it either it's 2 or 8. So, you write it there. So, next thing what you do it, you ignore the last two digits, take the first two digits they have given, then see where it falls between the squares. So, 46 falls between 36 and 49. So, it, you have to take the lowest digit which is nothing but 6 here. So, you directly write the 6 here. So, how to find between 2 or 8? So, we take the next number of 6 which is nothing but 7. So, multiply it with 6, you get 42. Now, you compare this number with the first two digits of your number. So, 46 is greater than 42. So, you directly take the larger number out of it. So, it is nothing but 68. Let's just solve a couple of other sums to understand this concept better. So, the next question that they have given is 7, 9, 2, 1. So, what are we going to do? We are going to take the last digit. 1 falls between 1 or 9. So, it can be 1 or 9. So, ignore the last two digits. We are going to take 79. 79 falls between 64 or 81. Take the smallest one. which is nothing but 8. So, you have taken 8. What do you do next? Multiply it with its next number, which is nothing but 8, 9 is 72. So, we compare this number and this number. 79 is greater than 72. So, what do we do? We take the large number. So, the square root of 79... 2, 1 is nothing but 89. Let's solve a couple of other sums. So, the next question that they have given is 1, 2, 9, 6. Same thing we are going to do. The last digit is 6. Where it falls between 4 or 6. So, you write it as 4 or 6. Ignore that 12 falls between 9 and 16. So, you take the smallest one which is nothing but 3 here. So, what do you do? You multiply it with the next number. 3 into 4 is 12. So, what's the problem here? So, that here is also 12 and here also the first two values are 12. So, when you find these two equal, what do you do? You take the largest number only. So, what is that concept that we have to understand? If the number is greater or equal, you are going to take the large number. If it is less than, you are going to take the small number. Let's say if it's 11 here. So, 11 is less than 12. So, what do you do here? You take 4 here. In case... In this case, 12, both are equal. So, as per our concept, both are equal. So, what do we do? We take the large number. So, the square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 is nothing but 36. Let us solve another sum to understand this better. So, the question they are given is 6, 7, 6. It's very simple. So, what do you do? You take the last number. 6 falls between 4 or 6. You write it here. You ignore the last two digits. You take the first one. 6 falls between 4 or 9. So, you are going to take the smallest one which is nothing but 2. Multiply it with the next number which is 6. As you see, here is also 6 and the value that you got is also 6. So, both are equal. So, as per our concept, what we are going to do? We are going to take the large number. 
So out of 4 and 6, 6 is the large. So the square root of 676 is nothing but 26. So let's take the value that I've given ends in 5. So in this case, if you see, the 5 comes one, repeat is only once. So you don't have the concept of choosing between the smallest one or the large one and all. So you directly write the unit digit as 5 here and you have to find the first digit here. That's how we have to solve a sum for that. So today we discussed about how to find the square root of a number in less than 15 seconds. So if you're a person who is looking for a job, kindly register on our freshersworld.com. Kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.